We are here today for an annual requirement that the aviation crews go through. Uh, it's aviation water survival training, also known as wet drills. Uh, and this training it allows the member to be exposed to the environment and the equipment that we use uh, while flying in, uh, in the Coast Guard. When you're in the water, it's nighttime. Let's say the crew all got out, but you're scattered. There's waves crashing, you can't hear a thing. You might be able to yell and hear each other, but a whistle's more audible. You're gonna be able to hear it. So I want you guys to know where your whistle's at. We have a station where they use the survival vest that they're wearing, the LPU-27. And they go through all the pockets and they can see what type of survival equipment they have, either a signal mirror, a whistle, uh, flares, emergency beacon. Uh, and then they get to take these survival items out while they're in the water. Station 2 is a dewatering pump that we have uh, behind us here. Uh, that allows the crews to troubleshoot and kind of know the nomenclature of the pump. So in a situation where they would deliver it to a boat crew, they could kind of talk them through on uh, preventing their, their vessel from sinking. Other station we have is a uh, land survival uh, station over there uh, beyond the obstacle course. Uh, and that station kind of gets the air crews thinking so that once they get out of the water and on land, they're in a survival situation, uh, how to start a fire, uh, how to get clean drinking water, uh, first aid, uh, and how to signal for help uh, so that they could be rescued. In station four, we had a raft out in the water and that, uh, that provides the crews on um, how to get into the raft, what survival items are in the raft, uh, and the nomenclature and just how to use the equipment that's uh, in the survival raft in case they ditch in the water. The top guiding principle for, uh, for myself as the CEO at Air Station Houston, Texas is proficiency. We must be the masters of our crafts in anything we do, whether it's aviation or, or, other, or other disciplines. And part of being a, a technically proficient aviator is being able to take care, of, take care of yourself in a survival scenario. And that's what we're doing here today.